Hey everybody, what is up and welcome to Rock Gamer. And I want to talk about the DLC announcement for this week. I, you know, I had a feeling Justin Bieber was going to show up in Rock Band 4 at some point in time. We had One Direction show up in Guitar Hero Live. And, you know, we've been having a lot of these off the charts packs and these pop packs come out the last couple of weeks. And I think people need to realize that when you look at the most downloaded songs and the highest selling songs, they're usually pop songs. And typically the pop songs tend to have the longer lasting uh, they tend to have lo a better longevity than like a metal song. If you look at the metal songs that came out a couple of weeks ago, the prog metal pack, uh, those songs did pretty well initially for the week they got released. They were number one, two, and three. But then the following weeks, they completely slid down the charts. Like they fell out of the top 10. They weren't even in the top 20 most downloaded rock band songs. But you look at like the off the charts pack, which came out, the first one, which came out a couple uh, weeks ago, probably a month ago. And that featured Ed Sheeran, Walk the Moon, you know, the song Shut Up and Dance. And those songs are still, at least some of them are still in the top 10 most downloaded songs week after week. So I think that's why Harmonix is picking these kinds of songs. And they know they're going to get this sort of reaction out of the community. Like you know, Justin Bieber is going to piss off a lot of people. But it's also good publicity for them. You know, a lot of game sites are probably going to cover this announcement. And I bet you next week when the actual DLC uh, rankings come out, I bet you Justin Bieber will be easily in the top five most downloaded songs. There's a lot of people who are secretly fans of his and who will download his music. Now, I'm not a particular fan of his music, but I, I'll, I'm open-minded. Like I want to play a song that's fun on a particular instrument at the end of the day. Um, and that's kind of a toss-up that Harmonix has to deal with. Like some songs I really want in the game, but then I know at the end of the day they're not going to be fun to play. And, you know, that's where they really have to choose songs that are both well-known and fun to play. And people need to realize that, you know, every week they release DLC, you're probably not going to like every single release they put out, but they've got some amazing bands. They got U2, a band we'd never seen in Guitar Hero or Rock Band before. They got Van Halen a couple weeks ago. We got Aerosmith just after launch. We had 20 songs or 21 songs released at launch as DLC. And then, guys, if you don't like what came out this week, go check the music store. There's tons of great songs. Like this week alone, I went and picked up uh, One Big Holiday by Mor My Morning Jacket. Great song. Another one is um, Blitz Kids Run for Cover. I was playing that uh, later to earlier today, and it was such a fun song. There's, you know, countless good bands to go check out. That's why I have a Throwback Thursday feature on my channel where I talk about my favorite DLC songs so that when weeks like this happen, you guys can go to the music store and, you know, buy some songs maybe you didn't have in your library before. But as always, guys, you can always count on my channel to bring you the reviews of the DLC uh, that comes out every week. And maybe you'll be surprised. Maybe I'll be surprised. Maybe some of the songs that get released tomorrow will actually be really fun to play. So stay tuned to my channel. Guys, I'm going to have a full review of all six tracks tomorrow. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel for all things related to Rhythm Gaming. Take care.